everybody, this is Luke with Wilson Auto Detailing, and today's video is the one, the only, explanation slash showing of my main setup. So number one, how about that sweet somersault intro? And number two, I have had countless subscribers and viewers ask me to show them my setup, what I use, my tools, how I do this thing. So I wanted to show you guys because I'm at my mother's house right now because I just did a client at her house, just got done with a Cadillac, and I have all my stuff strung out, so I organized it all, and I'm gonna keep it here overnight, and I wanted to show you guys. So, number one, if you are new to my channel, first of all, welcome, and consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos of tips and tricks, not only for the professional detailers, but also for the do-it-yourselfers on how to maintenance your car, and if you are a professional detailer, how to become more profitable in your business and grow it. So, consider subscribing. Now, let me take you on a little tour and show you all of my stuff. Okay, so let's start with the beginning of the line. Number one, I have my industrial lights, okay? This one is just a stand light and it gets uber hot, uber hot. Uber hot. So, danger zone. This is a hanging light that I can hang on like the little uh, handle up on the ceiling of cars if I'm doing it in the dark or if it's just like a rainy day and I'm doing it in a garage and the sun's not really out. It's a great idea to have these because it helps you see, it helps you uh, when it's like overcast, it really helps you get the best results. So I got my two lights right here. Second of all, I have my faithful rug doctor, which I've talked about in several of my videos. I just love it, man. I love it. Can't get enough of it. It's a great, small, easy to tote tool that in a lot of ways can replace an industrial carpet extractor and uh, I love it. By the way guys, this is not my full setup, but it is my foundational setup. So this is what I use most often. This is like my very foundation. There are other things that I use and I'll show you in later videos, but this is like the foundational stuff that I stand on with every detailing trip. Moving down the line, I have my polishing toolbox. In this toolbox contains the wonders of the world of polishing. I've got a buffer, I've got some pads, I've got some polish, I've got some sandpaper, I've got some tape. I've got several polishing pads. I've got several different kinds of polishes. I have everything you could think of or need. It's like Christmas for polishing. Now, fourth, I've got my new four gallon rigid vacuum. My man, Darren Priest at Auto Fetish uses this. And I have used shop vac for years, but my other shop vac went kaput and I wanted to try and shake things up a little bit, so I went with the Rigid, and so far, I am loving it, and it is worthy of its own separate video. But not today. Now, fifth, I have my first, my first out of two 27-gallon tote buckets, tote containers. And this one contains most of my utility stuff, which is like my air compressor hose, my couple of my bigger brushes, uh, so two, it contains some buckets, my tornador, some gallons of wa some distilled water, I got a 50 foot roll of extension cord right here. I normally carry 100 feet of extension cord with me but I only have one rolled up here. And then this 27 gallon tote is my products, okay? I'm gonna take you in to check this out. This, once again, is not all of my products. They're not all of my products, but this, this is my foundation of products, okay? So, got some Optimum No Rinse here, got some cleaner wax, got some washing wax, got some real brightener, some X wax, super degreaser, ONR dis uh, distilled water solution, natural shot protectant, blah, 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 blah. And then here are four gallons of my most used products, being Meguiar's All-Purpose Cleaner, Purple Power, 
uh, Meguiar's wheel brightener and Meguiar's super degreaser. Those four products are what I use the most. So naturally, those four products are what I carry with me in gallon sizes wherever I go because I'm constantly having to fill up bottles of those four things. So I carry four gallons of those everywhere I go. So that's my main foundational product line. Moving on down the list, my sixth item, or my seventh, I lost count, I don't really know. This is my bucket of, my container of microfiber towels. And they are color coordinated, but I actually don't have many in here because, well, I just went through a ton detailing this Cadillac because it was pretty dirty, so I had to go at it a little bit. So this is my microfiber towel bucket. I've got my yellow waxing microfiber, my blue interior cleaning, my multicolored gross engine tire cleaning stuff. I got my new virgin microfiber towels for black colored cars and my higher end vehicles that I maintenance. Inside of the microfiber towel bucket is possibly the most important key to my whole detailing experience. And here it is. My Bluetooth speaker. If you're a detailer and you don't have a Bluetooth speaker, then you are cheating yourself and you need to stop doing that, okay? These are amazing, this was $99. A Little bit of an investment, but that's okay. I do full-time ministry when I'm not detailing, so I love worship music. Love listening to podcasts from some of my favorite pastors like Bill Johnson and Mike Bickle and all of them. So I hook this up. I get to listen to a bunch of worship music and love my job because this thing's awesome. In this bucket, I also have a list of different things on a notepad. I keep this notepad because while I'm detailing, number one, I get ideas for videos and I write them down. Number two, I take notes sometimes about the cars that I'm doing um, so that when I take my customer around for the final look, I can highlight some specific areas that I want to highlight to them and I don't forget them. So I write them down here, some specific uh, areas that I wanna highlight about cars. And number three, uh, if I ever need to refill on products, I write down the products I need to refill on right here so that I can go do that. I also keep a phone charger and a speaker charger in here because my speaker and my phone are constantly running out of battery. So, you know, because I use it so much. Okay, now, going down the line again, my other toolbox that is not for uh, polishing. It is for many other things. I have two sweet compartments on top here. One compartment keeps an extra Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, because I go through so much of these, I always like to have an extra. And in this tiny little pocket right here that is empty below the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, I keep the customer's keys right here. Because if you're a detailer and you've ever lost your customer's keys or you've taken them with you because you put them in your pocket, you know what that feels like. And I just didn't want that to happen twice. So I always put the customer's keys right here. In this next one, I've got some steel wool, some very fine steel wool for window cleaning and for chrome cleaning. A lot of times I use steel wool on the tailpipes. This is one of my clay bars. It's a pinnacle clay bar. I have this up here. And then in this magic little Pandora's box, let me take you in for a closer look. Here's where I keep, I got a couple different funnels. Here's a funnel. Here's a funnel that's really good because it, it, well, I'll explain that later. Good funnel. I got some interior carpet cleaning brushes. I've got some sponges that I use for like black trim. I've got a leather, uh, one of my nicer leather conditioner applicators for my nicer higher end vehicles. Got some more steel wool here. Got some extra toothbrushes because you just can't ever have too many of those. Sweet razor blade window cleaning tool and good for sometimes gum on carpets. Got some more brushes that I use, a couple other applicator pads. Always, of course, you gotta have a wrench just in case you can't get that hose off the spigot. And I've got a hose attachment sprayer here. Got some backup non-abrasive scrub pads and probably some more stuff, but different video. Okay, so one of my last things in this line of foundational products is my two and a half gallon tank of purple power. 
I always have this with me because I go through so much purple power, whether it be on tires or carpets or extremely dirty cars or whatever, I always like to have this puppy with me because I just love this product. Now, very last thing that I have for you guys today that I keep in my foundational line of necessary products is my air compressor. And this air compressor is awesome because it fits just about anywhere. It's a porter cable, it's six gallons, and it's got a max of 150 PSI. I hook up my Tornador to this and uh, it works perfectly. Plenty of uh, recuperation time, plenty of uh, room and storage for compressed air that I use that I need it for. Um, this is great. And I said this was my last thing, but technically I have one more thing. My garden hose. And I just use a 50 foot garden hose, or actually I think this might be 25 feet. Nah, it's 50 feet. A lot of people use like these industrial grade, like heavy duty hoses, and I don't know, I just don't like beat up my hose that much, I guess, so I don't really find any need for it. And this has worked just fine, and this thing lasts like years, so no problemo. Um, but I guess, really, that's my foundational stuff that I take with me pretty much 90% of the time everywhere I go. So although that's the stuff I take with me like 90% of the time, I do have other tools, other equipment that I don't take with me every time because they're just not necessary. So sometimes detailers like stock up on all these equipment and products and there's just no need for all of them and they end up getting in the way and kind of slow you down. And time is money, people, so I don't like to be slowed down. That's kind of the stuff I take with me everywhere. <coughs> I'll do other videos on things like uh, a steamer, specifically the VX5000, um, steamers and stuff like that. But that's kind of the foundational stuff. And uh, just for all you pro detailers who are wanting to get into the business, just understand that don't look at this stuff and be intimidated and think like you have to get all this stuff in order to like start your business. That's such a lie. That's not true. Um, you don't need to have all this stuff to start your business. I did not have near this stuff. It's like when you buy a house. When you buy a house, you don't just buy all this nice furniture to put in it at one time. Over years of living in the house, as you grow one thing at a time, you purchase a nicer piece of furniture, a nicer dining room table, a this, a that, a that. But you didn't start with all of that. And so, you know, you replace things, you buy new things, you take out old things and put in better things. And that's just like the same thing with detailing. You buy a, a nicer dining room table, you buy a nicer extractor, you buy a nicer steamer, you buy more products. But, you know, maybe right now you're just detailing with Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner and you're just diluting it 10 to one and then five to one for, for more dirty things. But in the future, you'd like to start buying super degreaser. Well, start making more money, start getting more clients, and then invest in some super degreaser, and then start using that, and couple it, and as you grow your business, you're going to be able to buy nicer things, better things, but when you're starting out, just understand that you're gonna have to grind, kinda like everybody else did. I had to grind when I first started out. I mean, it was not easy. Like, I would spend 10 hours on some cars because I didn't have the means to do it quicker because I didn't have the equipment, but I knew that I wanted to do it well. I knew I wanted to make money. I knew I had good work ethic, so I just grinded, I hustled, and I did it, and I built clientele, and I built a business, and as that business grew, I began to be able to invest in other products and, and tools and equipment and things like that. And for all you professional detailers out there, I just wanted to tell you what happened to me this morning because it was so crazy. I had my client, I always have a phone appointment with all my clients before I ever have them show up or I show up there. And my client showed up this morning with her minivan and it is the first time in all of my years of detailing, the first time I have called a client and said, you need to come pick up your car. It is so dirty there's nothing I can do about it. Like, it's not worth your money. For me to do anything to this van, it would take a minimum of two days, and you're gonna pay upwards of like five, six hundred dollars, and it's not worth it. I mean, I literally had to call her and say, come back, get your van, you need to take this thing back. I can't detail it. I have never done that. I have always loved a challenge, but this one was just, <laughs> unheard of. So anyways, this is my mother back here. Wait, where is she? There she is, that's my mom. And she's trying to walk out of the frame. So anyways guys, all of that to say that all of this 
array of tools and products that I have that I just showed you is not necessary for you to start your business. It's not even necessary for you to grow your business. You can grow your business. You can start without all this stuff. Um, but it certainly is great to be able to have this stuff, but it's all a learning process and it's all a process. You know, it's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. I didn't buy all this stuff at one time. I didn't buy all this stuff in one sitting. And so, uh, you know, once again, I actually have more stuff than this, <laughs> but that's just the nature of a detailing business. You know, people are constantly inventing new things. Chemical engineers are making new products. Engineers are making new tools that make your life quicker, easier, more efficient, and therefore more profitable. And so you're constantly having to adapt, update your methods, and things like that. So guys, once again, my name's Luke, and this channel is Wilson Auto Detailing. And if you're a professional detailer, or you're just a do-it-yourselfer or a car enthusiast who wants to know how to clean your own car, maintain your own car, whatever, or a professional detailer wanting to know how to become more profitable, grow your business, um, what products to use, all that sort of information, that's what my channel is dedicated for. So if you have not subscribed, consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos every morning, a new video on tips and tricks, not only products to use, tools to use, strategies to implement, but also communication skills, business skills, and all sorts of things like that. So consider subscribing by hitting the little red subscribe button in the corner right here. And guys, if you like this video and it helped you out, you know, you appreciated it, it added some value to your life, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you have like an idea that you want me to make a video about, make sure to leave me a comment below this video. Tell me what you want me to make the video about and I'll be sure to do that because some of the best video ideas come from you guys, the Wilson Auto Detailing community. So make sure to get hooked up with some people down below in the comments. And guys, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, I will catch you guys next time. There she is, that's my mom. And she's trying to walk out of the frame. Now, anyways, there she is. Are you not finished yet? Oh, she's, okay, she was checking on me.